Tracy, you have a great seat. Anyone ever told you that? Not in a while. <laughs> that is a great saddle. Thank you for letting me try it. Yeah, no problem. Expecting someone? Uh, yeah, I thought I was, but now I think I'm getting stood up. Who would do that to you? Tracy, sorry I'm late. I was beginning to think I had been stood up. Well, since you asked Yuri to drive me, um, I, I could hardly ghost you, as Violet would say. <laughs> and it was such a lovely evening, I asked him to take the route around the lake, and the sunset was breathtaking. So I asked him to stop, and he, he found a nice spot and pulled over and piped Tchaikovsky into the back seat. And I just soaked in the music and the splendor and got lost in it. I think we both did. I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, I am too. Would have enjoyed it. And I would have enjoyed it more with you. Well, I, I, I did get to see some of the sunset on my ride, and you're so right, it really was lovely. <laughs> you know, Gregory, uh, I bet we could convince Tracy to hop back on her horse. Two of you could finish that sunset together. So what do you say? I want to trade out your cane for a saddle? Maybe next time. You know what happened the first time I rode a merry-go-round? I fell off. <laughs> Stop trying to make me feel better, cowboy. No, no, it's a, it's a true story. I was, uh, I was a little younger than Leo. I was probably eight or nine. I was trying to impress a very cute girl. Hard to believe. And she kept looking at this brass ring that was at the top of the pole. So I, I climbed up on the... the carousel pony and I stretched out my little body as far as it would go and I just kept reaching for that brass ring and then I, I fell flat on my face. Don't know how I didn't break my nose but I got eight stitches in my head. Too bad it didn't knock some sense into you. Wait, wait, what about the girl? Uh, the next day she sat next to me on the school bus. Oh! And the moral is reach for that brass ring. You may fall flat on your face, but you never know. He's well-meaning. Yeah. I wish everyone treated me so kindly or gave me such good advice. <laughs>